This coming weekend, the Abilene Kennel Club is hosting their annual dog show at the Taylor County Coliseum. So here to tell us about this year's event is Cindy Knox and Dr. Kimberly Lewis with Key City Veterinary Clinic. Welcome, ladies. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having us. It's, it, it's a doggone good time to have a show, <laughs> huh? It is. <laughs> so th how many years of this Kennel Club show? Um, we started in 1958. I mean, so, so do the math. Been, it's been, been a long time. A while. <laughs> yes. This is a pretty renowned one, and you have people that come from across the nation to show their dogs and, and to and to receive points. Yes, across the nation to show their dogs, and we also have judges. They come from all over the United States to come and judge for us. So Evelyn gets gets quite a reputation. We sure do <laughs> for a lot of reasons, but this is a great one that we get this reputation. So yes. you brought with you today. This is Sunny. Our, our ambassador. Yes. <laughs> She's Sunny. a retired show dog. Yes, she is. She's That's a okay. champion and a grand champion and a bronze grand champion. So she's not showing. Um, ordinarily, she would. But since I'm the show chairman, I don't because there would be a conflict of interest. Sure. But something you, you certainly have spent a lot of time in the ring, in the, in the yes. arena down there. <laughs> and, you know, and Key City is one of the main sponsors and for the grand champion as well this year. Mm -hmm. And you, as well as being the veterinary uh, clinic on hand for Correct. all of the animals. And you said you've already actually even seen, had to see yes. some of the contestants out there. Correct. <laughs> we have. So when we talk about um, dog shows and uh, why people should come out and watch, I mean, we all have dogs, um, or a lot of us do anyway, and we talk about the different breeds, but this really kind of um, helps to educate the public as, as about as, as, um, in regards to each breed, what it takes to, to actually show, mm -hmm. and to have a healthy breed too, because there can be some, some issues there, especially, especially when you're trying to get into a purebred dog. Um, actually, there can be issues with purebreds <laughs> and non-purebreds. Well, that's too. But, <laughs> yeah. but, but um, we try and be very careful about health testing. She likes her treats. <laughs> <laughs> about health testing and making sure that we're breeding really good dogs that are purposely bred to do what they were bred to do. So, like we have, so she, Sunny's a French bulldog. She's a French bulldog, and French bulldogs actually uh, were brought from uh, France to England. And they were they sat in the lace makers' laps to keep them warm because it was so cold, and they had coal burning st and wood burning stoves, so it didn't get all that warm. And the, the French bulldogs did that for them. So if you're looking for a three dog night when it's <laughs> awfully cold, <laughs> she's your perfect candidate. That's you guys. right. I mean, you don't want to say they're here just to look cute, but hey, they're here to look cute and keep you warm. That's <laughs> right. And they do. And they do. How, about how many breeds will we see this weekend? We have over a thousand dogs coming. Wow, that's a uh, lot of dogs. Over, and it's a, a separate show each day. So we start tomorrow, which is Friday. Okay. Show starts at 8 o'clock in the morning, and we go all the way through until we find our one best in show winner. One we, best in show. How many categories? Oh, my goodness. There are seven groups, and within each group, there are probably 15 to 20 breeds, depending on which group okay. it is. That's a lot of different breeds out there, but it certainly, like we said, it informs the public more so. And you, know, and you learn a bit about each of the breeds and what they were inherently bred for. And there's lots of breeders there that are willing, once they're done showing, that are very willing to, to take the time to educate you and give you information about their breed. It's a tremendous, I mean, it's a tremendous event and as well as being very, very informative. Your favorite part of the event, either of you? I can tell you. What's your favorite part? <laughs> On Sundays at noon, we have the Pee Wee Handlers, and these are <laughs> five to nine-year-olds that come at noon, and they have shown Sunny several times, several of them have, and they, they either show one of our show dogs or they show their own dog, and they get to run around the ring for the very first time, and that mm -hmm. is just magic. So truly it's Absolute it magic. The dog is, is actually teaching the child probably more <laughs> That's so. right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right. All right, it's going to be a great event, and we're so glad that you all are bringing it back again this year. Glad to have you, and all of the dogs in although you won't be taking the stage, we'll be cheering you on as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you Thank both you. for joining us. We want the rest of you to come out and join us. It's going to be a great time. The dog show is at the Taylor County Coliseum May 20th through the 22nd. Again, that begins tomorrow. It is free for spectators, and you can find more information at AbilenKennelClub.org.